Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my shed. What am I doing? Um, well, I was just seeing this uh, felt when cleaning. A little bit of dirt on it, but not too bad. I am working on the ripoff CBR125, which came over to Skyjet, and now the XTR125 Lex Moto has different names in different places. What did it look like? Well, not normally like this. I've been playing with it for a little while. I just drained the carburetor out. And you can see it wasn't, well, wasn't all that. And then the bottom of the uh, carburetor sump, let's call it, the pan, um, there's a little bit of rust in there. So it could be just really crap petrol. This is a 2011 model here. They are five speed, just generic. Yeah, that's going to come off. This one's been played with. I mean, someone's fitted indicator mirrors, which is good. Stubby levers, like wow. And down there is a little carbon Lex Moto exhaust. And that's a full system. Nice chrome goes to the engine. But it's not running. I bought not one, but two. Now, this one does run and is exactly the same as that one. XRT125. They don't look half bad, if I'm honest with you. This one, as I said, runs. It's a 15 plate. So, they don't sound too bad. Very pencil wheels. And they are basically the rip-off CBR. Now, having that one running and this one not running, I suppose I can cheat, maybe, and pop little things here and there. These bikes, as I said to you before, just check the oil regularly. Servicing is brilliant on these. Now... We have spark now, I didn't have spark a minute ago. A little wide moved in transit to add a lot of bikes in the back. Um, so I got spark, but still nothing. Plug's getting wet and it wouldn't start. Good old easy start. So hence, I'm now doing the carburetor. I did a video recently saying about carburetors on my short bites, and this is what I've done with this one. I haven't disconnected the cables, but I have turned upside down and I'm gonna clean all this now. Uh, remember, I mean, nice having this little tub here, but any parts will fall in there and not around the bike and hopefully on the floor. So they're in there. So it does turn over. I have got a spark and the plug's getting wet. That's when it starts to get a little bit scary, but I'm gonna clean the carburetor, air filter, gonna blow that through as well and clean it. Being sponge, don't buy another one. Wash that liquid, hot water, rinse, clean, rinse, clean, rinse. Let it completely dry, put it back in. Saving tip. Anyway, I'm gonna have to get on with this because obviously it's gonna bug me and it could be something major. I'm hoping it's not an engine gone, you know? Um, real good compression, I could feel it. I tried to kick it over and the compression was, was mighty. Still doesn't mean it's not gone. And if it has, that will really pee me. Um, I'm hoping that carburetor clean, put it all back on again and we spring to life, happy days. Brett said to me, fellow YouTuber, who sold it me, said it's running and he's riding up and down on it. So I'm hoping that is the case. And uh, this will be riding up and down. Um, tires are okay on this. Chain's good. Chain's okay on that one as well. Another couple of videos coming up of another, a uh, Quincy they call them, a trail bike as well. And a bike I've never seen before, which is called a Bug. Um, a Bandit Bug, not an English bike, come from overseas. Does it go though? It does, it starts really well and goes. Anyway, let's get back onto this and see what I can do with this and see if I can get it running or not. So, carburetor all clean now. Battery, where I always tell you to put it. On charge, petrol. Here's what I made earlier. Okay, still the vacuum system. Get yourself a little pot. Put your petrol on in there. The bottom of the vacuum is the air, the other one's the fuel. So, just for you looking now, a bit awkward I know, but put that there and suck. And fuel will come out. Nicely filling up. Now, so that I can see, you're not gonna get any fuel in your mouth, don't worry, because the air you're sucking. Something I can see. Can you see that? That's not that clean. You see that? That was a clean jar. That's crap. So, 
Was it running before? If it was, it'd be running quite shit. And I'm going to drain all of that petrol out and put a nice new shiny gallon of petrol in there and uh, discard of this properly. Right, let's drain the rest out. And then hopefully, put tank back on, fresh fuel in here, and she should start, fingers crossed. If she doesn't, there's more problems. Um, while the top's off and everything else, do stuff from electrics, take these apart. There's someone's messed with them already there. Um, WD, put them back, okay? I'm not quite sure what this would have been. Maybe a very, very cheap, some sort of alarm that's going to come off. There is no other alarms on there. With 9,670 miles on here, that's not that much. An actual fact, not sure if you can see that, but it's going to be in kilometres as well. Outside kilometres means the speed over to kilometres. That's 9,600 kilometres. Probably about 6,500, 7,000 miles on this clock. As for the oil, I've just done a video on that, on my light bites. I'm going to change that for motorbike oil. Watch the video. Anyway, let's get on. So I often keep some spare old petrol. And I'm glad I'm dead. You. That's, well, dirty, horrible. Look at that. That's just disgusting. So I'd like to see what I've got out of this tank so far. That's not good, is it? Look at all the bits in the bottom. Make sure the door's open, will ya? Oh. Yuck. Hello. Camera. Huh? Camera. So, more petrol in, get some more crap out. There's always gonna be something left in the bottom. I'll get on with this and uh, let's get it back on the bike in a minute. Okay, something wrong there, but that's a drip of petrol, so that's flooding carburetor. But it did start, it's the job done there, definitely petrol, carburetor back off, find out why, and then a float jam, because that's what that is. Um, smells in here now. There we have a little bit of fuel on the floor. So get all that up. There we have a running bike. So it'll be tank up again, carburetor off, find out why the float's stuck open. Other than that, it's running. So I had to take the plug out again, clean that, clean the whole petrol system through, and now we've got a running bike. So happy days, found out it wasn't sparking, but that was due to traveling in transit. Um, job done, next will be checking the chain, tire pressures, brakes, and everything else. This needs an MOT, this bike. Runs out in Feb, a couple of months, no sense in uh, trying to move on a bike with only a couple of months. Now, valve's tightening up, getting rid of some crappy stickers, getting rid of the uh, BITCH sticker. Happy days. Right, let's get on with it. Go. It is tart up time. However, a crappy day. It don't sound too bad for little 125. It's a Lex Moto exhaust, so uh, they're quite good, really. Sound alright. Full stainless steel this one is. What are doing there? I've got to move things around a little bit. One fault left. These brake lights. Rear brake light works, but the front brake light doesn't. So it's just more than a switch, so it's all off. Everything's got to come off now to find the wiring. Everything else works. Quite like these indicators in the mirrors. They're alright. And indeed these ones. And the back. They say little things, please little mind. Skinny little wheels, but they're okay. All this needs now is a tart up. It is running, kickstart and electric start. Job done. Just to prove. There you go. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll get all these screws that are missing now and make it look pretty and start on the next one. Cheers for watching.